The jail was built in 1887. It was used all the way up to 1980. 1980. So almost 100 years it, it made it, but it was in really bad condition. Oh, okay. uh, so they actually, the state shut it down as far as a, a being deemed fit to be a jail. But we have several articles now. Uh, they, they're not local paper. They're actually one was like the Galveston uh, item and, and some other further away newspapers that have uh, articles about someone being hung here. So the schoolhouse was uh, built in 1926. You see a shadow go like that from behind it. Wow. But, but it's in because the school, one of the uh, lights is on in the schoolroom. So right. you see the shadow through oh, the window. Oh, it's schoolhouse. Yes. Oh. Dude, like standing in the towards the bottom of those stairs. Did you just say uh -huh? I didn't hear anything. Oh, Holy sh! What was, what was that? that? Welcome, my paranormal people. Yes. And, and my peeps. To this first episode of a separate video for the epilogue, and we're going to be talking about our road trip that we took out there in Cold Spring, Texas, the old jailhouse. And actually, we're we're, we're shooting here inside of the, the infamously haunted Moonshi Brothers in Old Town Spring. We, we actually shot a video here. We got a mystery on our hands. Something moved across the window here. And uh, if y'all haven't watched it, I'm gonna provide a link down below so y'all can check it out. You guys let us know what you think. And we had another mystery. We had a mis uh, disappearing tonight, salad dressing. Tonight at the dinner table, there was a salad dressing that I requested specially because I needed an extra one. She handed it to me. I took the lid off of it, apparently set it down. And then all of a sudden it was just gone. I had to get another one. The mystery of the disappearing no, salad dressing no and whatever it is. Went, but everybody saw it on the table. And whatever yeah. it is that moved across the window. So you guys let us know. It's crazy. We'll, 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 but it didn't end up in my purse, pretty. so that was good. <laughs> but this, uh, or, or on your shoes. <laughs> or on my sh oh, I didn't check my shoes. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I got a list. And we're going to go through this. We're going to be talking about what we experienced there in uh, Cold Spring. We've been there before. We went about 10 years ago. And it was cold. And we, it was cold. We caught some really interesting things. And uh, we went back again a couple years after that, and it was pretty quiet. And we went again this time, and it was fairly quiet. But I think we may have caught something, and that's what we're going to talk about. We had free reign of the place. Uh, we had the whole night to investigate, but we got tired. Uh, it was pretty spooky but it was relatively quiet. It was relatively quiet. So, uh, but we did have some invites who happened to uh, join us. The two R's, mm -hmm. Rachel and Ryan. What did you guys think? Your first, your first investigation. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. Angela was so cool. That was a good time. The schoolhouse yeah. was cool too. So. Yeah. Do you feel like you experienced anything? Yeah, so. I mean, when we first got there, you can, Feel the we felt it. We, yeah, you can feel the energy, especially downstairs. There's that one downstairs bedroom. Yes. You, you know, the, the, yeah. The, your chest getting tight, and then in the schoolhouse, we were heard the tapping. No, I know. Usually, when we bring you people, man, we want something major to happen, we wanted, like something we crazy. Be, but we it, to have a good time and experience. But it. it was one of those times, that, and we always say that most of the investigations are quiet and mm -hmm. subtle. And it was, it was just one of those typical investigations. This is what you guys should always expect when you go on an investigation. Not like these crazy demons and stuff flying around, yeah. but quiet, subtle. Y'all had feelings. You, you had- I mean, I, When I left, I was like nauseous, sick. And that lasted until I got, and the next morning I woke up and I was still wow. residue feeling. I've never felt that nasty before. Oh, that was good. But I also use. remember telling it that um, you can use my energy to interact yeah. with it, and I probably should not have done that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel better once you were outside of the building? No, it, it in the, the car the drive because it was what a two-hour drive, yeah. hour and a half. Yeah. I felt it all the way home, That's and then 
That is crazy. I thought y'all had something to do the next day. I didn't know y'all left because you were feeling it. I'm Especially sorry. after y'all did the uh, the solo or the alone investigations you see with Mel, but we'll, we'll get to that. Creepy. Like There was something there. Yeah. There, there was definite energy there. Mm -hmm. It just was not well, making itself known in a way that we could capture and record and document. I, I want to get back to, to that when y'all were there alone, but now let's go back 10 years ago and let's just review the uh, evidence that we shot 10 years ago. I just want to get y'all's impression. I don't know if y'all got a chance to watch it. So we're going to go back 10 years and uh, this. Okay, so what do y'all think of the evidence that we captured 10 years ago? Uh, I can tell you one thing right now. Some of the stuff, especially, I think the, the female voice, some of the things that you guys captured oh. back then 10 years ago, Yeah. took 10 years to corroborate. Corroborate. Mm. corroborate. To corroborate, yeah. From, you, you just check out the video, guys. Just check out the video because and the Rachel bottle, and Mel remember? both are yeah. picking up the same things. I was that up on a female. You guys 10 years ago were actually physically hearing. Yeah. And uh, that that's what I like. Did somebody hurt you here? No, no, we did. Time. We did capture something that initially, back then when I edited the video, I thought it was a laugh. Mm -hmm. But then when we listen to it again, we can probably say it was just a dog, right? Do, do you agree with that? Yes. It was just probably a dog. One, did y'all did y'all hear that or not? I, I put I laughter. I when I watched it again, I'm like, and I was hearing it with some headphones. I'm like, you know what? I think it was a dog. So the bug. But the uh, the water bottle. Hello, is anybody there? Holy sh! What was, what was that? that? There's a water bottle there, but. So here's my question with the water bottle. You know how, like in the cold, or you know, sometimes the bottles tend to pop. It, it did sound like it fell, but could it have it been just like it, it popping? Rolled and hit the that. I don't bean, think so. Living water. up north, I've never heard water. I mean, maybe if there was water in it, you had it outside. When you the had water it in the water in there. Or when it was thawing out, but okay. not. When there's an, in the cap it wasn't was even an empty it. bottle, too. It was yeah. empty. It was an empty bottle, no cap. It was an empty so bottle, yeah. The, the, at that time, the temperature, it, it, could, just it, sounded it could have like it. It, it yeah. just sounded like it kind of rolled over to the bar. And then it got knocked over. Like it fell to the ground and rolled. Holy sh**. What was, what was that? that? Now I'm gonna be straight up honest. Whenever that happened, we had heard voices. Mm -hmm. We had heard footsteps. We were the only ones in the uh, jailhouse. <laughs> and when that freaking water bottle fell, scared everybody. I was too f***ing spooked to walk around the corner and see, because I did not want to see a f***ing Frankenstein sitting there. No, seriously, man. So if you notice why I didn't go check and try to debunk the shit, that's why. We've all been there. I did not want to run into <laughs> You know, Jason and shit. You're I out. was spooked, man, but this was 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to start. I'm a little older. You're, 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 you're going to start here. You got I was, I was spooked, man. That, I was. Uh, I know, I know. And that's cool. That's cool. Give me shit. Give me shit for it. But that was 10 years ago. Me go, go, hop in a time machine and then make fun of me then, mother. <laughs>
that there was more like this energy, like a chaotic energy there. See, it feels very chaotic to me, like, not like chaos like in the room, but like maybe chaos in their head. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And of course, there's always a train. Of course, it always happens. Always a train. <laughs> That's why I looked at you. It's like, are you really <laughs> tradition? But you said there was more chaotic energy that was, you felt there in the much, uh, yeah. I mean, and the other areas like was, people were not stable, and they just weren't calm. They were yeah. just very aggressive, but not even toward each other. Just in movement. And, and that's where they said where they would keep, they would hold people, and then it would transfer them to. Other prisons. Well, they were probably in so like probably, a drunk tank. Yeah. You know, and, and or, or like they maybe got the rowdy more, in there. Or maybe the more dangerous people, because yeah. remember they were transferring them out to, to, to somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, you heard rape. You kept hearing rape in your head. I kept visioning, yes, female, yes. Was it just a word, or do you felt like the energy like of the rape? Vision. Just a vision. I keep getting the word rape over and over and over. That's what I'm talking about. What I was talking about when she felt that. And it kept going over and over. And you, you listened to the other video, watching the other video. Yeah, yeah. You showed us. Yeah. And one the EVPs, certain EVPs, and they were female saying those words. So Help check me. out the video. Okay. Check guys. out the video. Yeah. You know what? In fact, yeah. I should have said earlier we'll provide a link. In fact, I'll do it now. There's going to be a link up here. Click on it. You got to watch the video. Got to watch it because it was a cool, fun trip. But check it out anyway, just so you can see the full ex the, the full experience. But also while we were in, in the uh, solitary confinement, Ronnie, you felt like you got tapped. Something tapped me and fell. Yeah, I don't know. like something like a drop. Oh, really? When water dropped down on me. Mm-hmm. Well, do you have a wet spot, spot like on your sleeve or something? No, it's dry. Hmm. Like yes. something yes. dropped on you? Right. Like something either, yeah, drip or some debris, water, it wasn't water. I thought it was something water. Something made contact something with your arm. Con contact with my left arm. Yeah. I couldn't tell you. Only thing I... There was nothing on the floor. No, there like was nothing on the floor. You, you even checked for... I even checked yeah. for moisture. For moisture and there yeah. was nothing. Nothing. Yeah. But it definitely felt some actual contact. That, even that, though, albeit it was very slight, but they not normal. They were playing with us. And that corroborates with what we, we experienced 10 years ago when the other investigator, which shall not be mentioned because she changed her name, <laughs> she felt a tap on okay. her back. I feel like somebody just touched me on my back. Really? There's these experiences that actually happen there in the jailhouse of people being touched, which is pretty interesting. But then we go into that one segment where we heard something. Mel said, that what would you think it was what what you heard that was when we were in solitary in solitary confinement you still did you hear that and, I heard and you said did, i it heard like my scream it sounded something. like a scream i don't know what y'all heard i don't know if y'all had a chance to actually put some headphones on like but but i did and it's it hurt something it, faint for me it's yes. very faint but when i heard, when i heard it a couple times and it mm -hmm. kind of gave me goosebumps to me, it sounded like, and I strongly recommend use headphones, maybe bigger ones, not earbuds, but headphones. To me, it sounded like, help me. It went like, help me. Aww. And it sounded like a female voice. That's what Ghost Text is the video that I sent you guys, what they yes. caught, said. What room was that in? Help me. Well, we were in solitary confinement. Oh, okay. They caught it in, I'm assuming in the same place, the mm -hmm. men's area, because that's what Rebecca had told us. Is that they caught the footage that that EVP in the men's area, and, and that was very very clear. Well, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt that it, it was an actual was, EVP, yeah. you know. So yeah, I have no reason not to. That right there, yeah, but I heard that. I, I can't think of any other outside sources that would. Yeah. And then the thing? fact that we captured. Well, I think we captured it. So, I could be wrong. It's very faint. It's, I don't know if it's, you know, before I saw their footage, I heard the help me before I heard their footage. So I wasn't, you know, okay. yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't influenced by what they thought they heard, but we, we didn't hear anything. You and Mel maybe did. But it was, I didn't hear was, anything. I mean, it was like so slight. Just yeah. I didn't hear you anything, didn't hear anything, but also keep in mind too, if anybody else thinks, oh, that's probably outside voices, we're in the city, the town, 
so many people walk by. Yeah. No, there was this nobody. place is out in the woods. Nobody yeah. around. There's nobody Pretty around. Desolate. One thing you'll hear is an occasional car, maybe. Yeah. Or maybe even a dog. Maybe. Maybe even a dog. Maybe. Even maybe a even a dog. But there are no houses around there close by. It's, it's when, you, when y'all get a chance, listen to it with good headphones yeah, and, and let us know what you think. Oh, yeah. and, and that's another thing I, I should have prefaced all this with. You guys are our fellow investigators, right? I want you guys to analyze the footage and let us know what you think. Debunk it if you can. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll, we'll be more than happy to, to post your debunks. And if you can give us a good analytical explanation, then we'll be more than happy We're to, to teach you. Absolutely. But it, the crazy thing is that right after you heard that, uh, Rodney, you saw the shadow. I have that motion sensor. It's not going off, but I see some freaking dude like standing in the, towards the bottom of those stairs. Yeah. I saw something. I, had to, I didn't say anything because I just saw twice the block out the light, but I don't Right that was yeah. coming up the after stairs. that happened. It would, it would like it was walking up the stairs because at first when I saw the freaking light yeah. being blocked out, the silhouette, it was a shadow of a male figure and it looked like it had a, like like a, a cowboy hat. hat, like a western hat, like it was probably a jailer or a deputy or sheriff or something like that. Well, you know, think about walking up the stairs and it stopped when it got to about stomach level, I guess you can say, and just kind of stopped and just was standing there. Think about it. The whole scene, what had just happened was somebody said, help me. And here comes somebody upstairs trying to help with right authority. Away. Mm -hmm. Right away. Or because it was the authorities that were keeping people in there by force. Well, they were putting them in jail for no reason. To, you know, extort money out of them. So but you also maybe to, they weren't coming up to you help them out. You also have to remember, though, that when there wasn't women up there. Yeah. Those, those men would use those overflow tanks. Yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, yeah. Check out Ghost Texas video. Uh, the EVP is incredible. Uh, the guys have awesome, awesome uh, footage, awesome oh, yeah. investigation. It was a good video. And uh, I'm gonna provide a link down below in the description. Check them out, uh, give them a like and subscribe. They're, they're really cool. But uh, if, so eventually go down to the uh, sleeping quarters, which that's where you were feeling yeah. tightness. When we first walked around, before, though, yeah. when we first walked around, Right? That was the heaviest room. Okay. Yeah, I keep pointing my chest, but that's what it feels like. It feels like, you know, somebody's pushing in your chest. Uh huh. So, like like you pressure, have, you right? Have yeah, pressure. Yeah, pressure. So it's I harder to breathe. Some sort of energy down there. Yeah. So when we went back down after we were upstairs, it was fairly quiet. You weren't feeling that pressure anymore? Was it? It was just when we were walking around, yeah. correct? Or, or did, were you still feeling it when we when we backed down there? Or was it the fucking zombie dolls that were Those did not help. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Talk I agree, man. I agree. Talk about being I agree. down. So, we weren't feeling it, correct? It was it was still quiet. You you yeah. felt as though we were. I think it kept shifting rooms. I think that when we would go into one spot to investigate, it would move. Yes. Okay. And that's and what we, I was going to mention. When so we they were separated. It, we couldn't find it at all. It was gone. They were always a step ahead. Yes. yes. Ahead of us. Yes. Correct. Okay. Because then we went into yeah, it was me, Mel, and Ryan went into the other room. Mel was uh. Asking questions and we heard a mm-hmm or uh huh. Uh -huh. I heard that. And so I initially, it was you. Initially, I thought it was Rodney because y'all were talking in the well, other room. He was room. standing right yeah, next yeah, to me, yeah. and I thought it was him because it sounded that close. It sounded really close. It was right into the mic. So I that's uh -huh. so that's the thing. And initially, well, I thought it was you, but because that. it sounded like it was in the room, I'm covered in good and you know, it wasn't you. It wasn't right. your voice. Oh, you yeah. recognize your own voice. It was like uh, yeah, uh -huh. that was pretty interesting. Are you in here? Did you come in here? Did you just say, uh-huh? I didn't hear no, anything. I, think, no. I didn't hear anything. I swear, just I heard uh-huh. I didn't hear it. It was really cool. Because my immediate thought was, oh, well, I mean, Ryan's right here, right right where you are. Yeah. Like, was that you? But it shows no. on the video. He, he wouldn't yeah. even, he yeah. wouldn't even, he wouldn't even respond. Did you hear it? He's, 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 he's oh. We didn't even hear it. Again, we didn't even hear it. So we end up going to the schoolhouse. Because mm -hmm. it was still fairly quiet, generally speaking. Yeah. That was fairly quiet, but we kept hearing a lot of pops, a lot of knocks, a lot. Yeah, and they were very loud. They were very loud. That EVP. They were pretty loud. Yeah. Telling when it was just you and I on that one end, and because I was talking. The rest of you guys on the other end. It was like a teacher. It's like a. Oh really? It's like a teacher saying, "Shh," you know. 
I don't think I got that. Oh, no, you I'll share it to Will. I, I caught it on, uh, oh, really? on my phone. I can't remember if I... I, I, I okay. You guys. I caught it well, I'll download phone, it, and so. then you're going to hear it here, because yeah. I don't think I included it you didn't, in the, uh, no, the you episode. No, you didn't do that. hurt my feelings, and I just like... I'm hey, hey, crying. shh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it said. I was just waiting for this moment to use it. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm sorry. And then that Kim was your freebie. Went to the back half of uh, the schoolhouse, you guys were up front, still like kind of investigating the tapping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, you and I, because I'm like, it's the energy around here, and that's when it was like. Shh. Yeah. Okay. And also pay attention too whenever you post this video uh -huh. because I, I sent it. Yeah. I put in some extra time for just for context. Listen to what Rachel is saying. Probably about two, one or two seconds before you hear that, and uh, she picks up on it. She okay. picks up on something, but she she says something before that. She says something about like the energy. It's like mm -hmm. right in here. Yeah, right. she she picked up on it before it even happened. Well, we're gonna include it here, so you're gonna get to watch it and then then analyze it, and then let us know well, what you think. So the, the mm -hmm. tapping did seem very interactive, especially whenever we asked, and yeah. then and like right after we said it, we heard the tap, and it was the one we caught, me and you, Mel, was actually pretty loud. Well, I'm not sitting at a desk. Yeah, but earlier, See? That, that was louder. That was really loud. Yeah. That was really close. That's strange. It was right oh, but, but, but it was getting cooler that night. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're talking about the expansion of the wood? Could it be? It, it, it was be. actually, it kept, it, it's it kept slowly, happening, the, it kept know, the, happening the, that whole night. The whole building the is old wood. Well, at the, at the time when we went in. Temperature it, different. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I was saying at the time when we went in there, when, yeah. we, when we started hearing that popping noise. I didn't yeah, hear yeah. it for yeah. a long time. Yeah. The sun had been down, and yeah. from yeah. my construction knowledge, mm -hmm. um, there's only a certain amount of time for that house can expand or contract yeah. the temperature before it stops doing that. Right. Or like the desk, right. maybe while we were sitting like in it. Do you think? Like it settles, but it had been dark. I mean, it was. Like it was we were sitting in these, these old desks. The temperature didn't drop or something within minutes. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We expected that. Remember, yeah. I said, everybody bring your coats. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it was cold yeah. and we expected it to And where to that get popping was at. I was in a tank top. <laughs> was hot. Yeah, yeah. Huh? And that, where true. that popping was at was actually, it was not any type of low yeah. supporting beam yeah. or wall, or exterior wall, or any place that would cause. That noise, that expansion yeah. or contraction noise. Yeah. yeah, nothing like that. Because where that yeah. was at, it was like, no, there's no way that yeah. we do that unless somebody. Because I know I walked up those steps in that area and it moved, it popped, they made that mm -hmm. noise. Well, we have yeah, to actually, throw, we have to throw it out there as. I mean, but it, it could, could be possible. It, it could, that is but it's very coincidental that. It, some of it seemed like it was interacting. No coincidences. Some, well, I mean, you know. I just never heard popping like that in an old building. Yeah, and, and it's first, especially the fact that it seemed like well, it was responding. But, also, but again, it could be, you know, like, but also, just listen, something something to consider. We, and, and you guys let us know what you think. We can't claim it's paranormal or spirit no. communication, but it just seemed pretty pretty interesting at the time, especially when you're sitting in this old ass yeah. schoolhouse yeah. that you know people have experienced shit. Yeah. It's just, it goes through your mind. But And there were children there. I mean, yeah. there, there were kids that showed up there. Yep. And people have caught images of, of a little boy and a girl. So it's just not, uh, just something to keep in mind. It, it, it's just really interesting. But uh, I know we went back to the jailhouse and it was quiet again. So we decided to do the, the experiment. Yep. Ladies only inside the jailhouse. With the zombie dolls. With the <laughs> zombie <laughs> dolls everywhere. <laughs> Rachel, you were super nervous. You did not want to go anywhere else except that room. Do you want to try a different spot? Not really. I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you at all. Uh, it would have been cool to see y'all go upstairs in the jail. How were you feeling? What, what was... Honestly, what I was waiting zombie dolls to like to, to yes. turn its head and yeah yes. typically yes. the horror story yes. as if they, <laughs> it, it, no, it, it felt it. like at any minute one, one of those was going to move inside. yeah I think we were all expecting that. we were all expecting that. that that's what made it even even spookier but then y'all heard we heard something that sounded like a, cat. a squeak or, or a meow but I mean you know they weren't hardened criminals they were right. neighborhood thugs you know right 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So you heard a squeak or a meow? It was I a heard meow. that. Y'all weren't moving, right? There was yeah. no sneaker no. that rubbed no, we or were nothing. Being, no, no, we were sitting down. I heard it. It sounded more like a squeak than a meow. But I can see how y'all would. Moment, have, yeah, in the moment. Yeah, in the moment. No, absolutely. I, I can absolutely see how y'all would think it was a meow. There's Could it have been a mouse? Of that room. Uh -huh. There's a water. So when you walk out to the room, immediately to the left, there was a water fountain. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know anything about water fountains, but yeah. I don't know if they kind of like turn on, turn off, or anything within their mechanism. The under pressure would, that can actually turn itself on. Of course, it makes it look like it's. But it didn't. Real. But that is kind of that doesn't. Okay. It's kind of rare, but it yeah. does happen. But for something like that. Okay. That's almost yeah. That was the only thing I could think of. Y'all, y'all did the uh, the bars. Y'all did the spirit pitch. box, mm -hmm. and it was uh, loud and annoying. It was. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God you turned it off, or else you wouldn't have heard the squeak. All right, guys. Well, hey, well, what did y'all think of uh, Cold Spring going out the, the trip to Cold Spring? What did y'all think awesome. of the town? I liked it a lot. The mason jar. That was mason jar was great. The margaritas. Yeah. The margaritas were really good. Oh, yeah. Well, if uh, if we ever get locked into the restroom. Locked into the restroom? You remember the little girl? The little girl that got. No. I know we will not be left overnight. So. Oh, I do. Bless the Lord. Thank you. And we, we strongly recommend going to the jailhouse. Oh, gosh, the, yeah. the town of Cold Spring was really cool. I mean, it's surrounded by the uh, the haunted forest of doom. No, no, but it's, it's surrounded by the Sam Houston forest. Yeah. And there's a lot of good, yeah, the national forest. I mean, it's just a really charming town. Yes. The Mason Jar, good food, great margaritas. Great people. Great, great service. Friendly, friendly, yes. friendly people. We're talking about, when we started out, you were talking about um, the way that we do it. Mm -hmm. our, our approach. Actual investigations are not like you see on TV. Yeah. You mentioned subtle several times, but in all that quietness that we thought we were not experiencing anything and all that subtlety, look how much we caught mm -hmm. just by being yeah. quiet and listening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how investigations really work and it takes patience. Absolutely. But it's not like you see on TV, so if you're expecting that, you might be disappointed. Yeah. Well, I want to I want to thank Rebecca and her husband Mike Absolutely. for letting They're us great people. Free reign of the place. We, we had a blast, man. It was, it was a privilege to investigate, to be around that history. Now we have an EMF rating, what we rate the, the how haunted the place is, you know, between one and five. What would y'all rate it at? And then we'll try to calculate a, an average. You know what, I want to give this a benefit because we may have just gone on an off night. Yeah. Uh, I would give it at about a three. Okay. I'm at a four, solid four. I was gonna say four, it's there. Brian, three. I would give it a three too, only because this is my third investigation. <laughs> the second one was quiet as hell. The first one was eventful. This one here was relatively quiet until I watched the the footage. So I'd have to say a three. I would have to say a three. So let's let's three point five. So it's a 3.5 rating, guys. But, All right, so we're, we gotta wrap up, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember, you guys are fellow investigators. Uh, by all means, let us know what you think. G give us yeah. analysis. Give us. We, we want to hear your. Be intelligent with your. Comments. We want to hear We're your interested. opinion, but an intelligent opinion. Absolutely. You know, an educated opinion, and and, and we, be serious about it because we take this seriously. And if you guys are from the area for Cold Spring. Did we miss a place? Is there somewhere else yeah, that we can go to? Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Maybe there's somewhere else cool that we need to explore and, and include in our up. footage, in our road trip, our travels to Cold Spring. Always remember, like, subscribe, and share our videos please, because please, please, you're please. helping us help the places that we go to. And basically, that's what we're trying to do. We're doing our little part to keep history alive. And there's another train. And there goes another train. <laughs> it's a good way to end it, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, and we'll see you Down on the, the next road. on the next paranormal road trip. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>